Hi there, Elise Dewsbury here from New Musicals Inc. with with the 74th episode in my vlog, my monthly vlog, How to Get No Feedback from Elise. And this month I'm going to talk about what I'm calling the reverse psychology song. Uh, now, one of my all-time favorite songs anyway is what I call a convincing song, uh, where obviously someone has to convince something, somebody of something. But it doesn't always have to be a straightforward convincing uh, where I tell you what I want you to think or what I want you to do and I try to convince you to either think it or do it. That's a standard kind of convincing song and that's fine. But sometimes if you know that it's going to be a really hard sell and this person is just never going to do what you want because it's so against what, what they want and they don't like you and all that kind of stuff. So you need to find another way to convince them. Now, in real life, really, really smart people who find themselves in this situation often do this through something called reverse psychology, right? And the same thing can happen in a song. So for an example of how this can work, I'm going to turn again to my Canadian friend, lyricist, composer, Leslie Arden, and again to her musical Mall that I talked about last month, a modern adaptation of Mall Flanders, in which our lead character, Mall, is a sex worker who's trying to get out of the trade. So in the time period prior to this song, Maul has managed to leave the brothel uh, that is led by a very powerful and conniving and controlling madam by the name of Dahlia. And, and Maul has managed to escape with her lover, James, and he knows all about her past, but they both really think that they can make it work and they can move forward. And it is working, uh, or at least they are figuring it all out, but then Dahlia shows up one day when Maul's not there. Uh, and Dahlia does not want to lose one of her best uh, assets at the brothel. So she goes to visit James uh, to talk to him a little bit about see what's up. So now she could easily come in and tell him, you know, Maul is just a whore. You shouldn't be with her. She's going to revert. You don't really know her. She could just tell him all of those things straight up and straightforward. And, but she knows that James doesn't like her and James is not is going to get defensive if she tries that and it's not going to work. So. She takes the opposite approach, reverse psychology, and she sings the song, You're a Better Man Than Most. I'm going to play that sort of three-ish minute song right now, and I'll put the lyrics up on the screen so you can watch it, and then we'll chat again for a second when it's over. You're a better man than most. You forgive and you forget. What you're willing to ignore For this woman you adore You have every right to boast You're the kindest man I've ever met And his pity, but tis true Maul and I had known a few Before she finally Disregard her past You're a better man by far Than all the many men that Maul's been with All they saw was just the whore Ah, but you see so much more More than just an opportunist With a sad and sordid history Mourning for another woman's life For look what you're able to rise above You're a happy man, no doubt Ah, but Maul knows how to please and appease Simply ask my clientele Oh, the stories they could tell You're so devoted and devout Trust in promises and guarantees You believe your love will stick That you know what makes her tick 
chick That when she needs some money quick She won't go turn that easy trick That you can silence every ghost To the better man a toast You're a better man There you go. And that was the amazing Canadian actress Glynis Ranney singing that song. Um, and as you can imagine, Dahlia's reverse psychology works. And she unearths all kinds of, of James's doubts that he's been trying to bury, all the petty jealousies and everything. And it definitely does undermine his relationship with Maul. And it all falls apart and Maul winds up going back to the brothel with Dahlia. Now, that's not the end of the show. She does still find a way to get out different way to get out but you'll have to see the show to figure out how that happens so suffice to say convincing songs are always fantastic but they can sometimes be disguised and in some ways even more powerful if you use reverse psychology that's it for this month and toodaloo <laughs>